Hey everybody! So, hubby wants enchiladas, pork enchiladas. So, we're gonna use some canned pork, some green chilies, an onion, some cheese I had, corn tortillas that we're gonna soften in some oil, and we will use some taco seasoning or you can use onion powder, garlic powder, some cumin, uh, some Mexican oregano if you want, green onion, salt and pepper, however like you however you like your meat seasoned for Mexican food. But we're gonna add these green chilies and the onion and perk it up. So, I'm waiting for my oil to get hot. Set up a draining plate. some taco seasoning that I have in the pantry. Make it easy. Don't want the paper on the burner. Last thing I need is a fire. I had to take a minute from YouTube so I posted a video I already had done of the beef that I was doing around Christmas or New Year's whenever it was I was very tired I know that so there's just been a lot going on and I just needed a minute to breathe and uh, hopefully I don't know, hopefully things calm down, but I, w I would really recommend ramping up your prepping uh, supplies. It's just just my, my advice on that. are some other things coming down the pike not just what's going on now and you should just be have what you need my next video is going to be one on preps for your pets I think you all need to be having everybody covered, your babies, your fur babies, whatever essentials that you need extra in your life besides the everyday normalities, it'd be a good idea to have everything. So we're just going to soften these. never get the first one right. There's a fine line between just right and fixing to get crunchy. I gotta get my, my groove on, my mojo. And I do find that you have a much better end product in your enchiladas if you do not skip this step. If you just roll them in the corn tortillas without doing this, they can literally kind of 
disintegrate in your dish. It's just not a very pleasant feeling. Mouthfeel. I mean, when you're wanting an enchilada, you know. <laughs> and if you wanted, you could turn these into uh, pork tacos, tostadas, nachos. I mean, I'm doing Mexican tonight, so I'm thinking of Mexican dishes. Um, burritos. I kind of had a hankering. He wanted enchiladas. I was kind of on the green chili sounds good, so I'm using the, the uh, canned green enchilada sauce. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I had some of that left over in the freezer, so I've got it defrosted. Use up what you have before you open anything new. So I'm just going to keep doing these and I'll be back when we get on to the meat part. Okay, so I shredded my cheese, I've diced up my onion, I've opened my chilies and my pork. So we're going to heat this up. Get it going a little bit. Yeah, I do everything and then it's like I don't have a spoon. We're going to put the juice in all because we're going to use some taco seasoning. Get that shredded up. That's smoked pork. That's smoked pork. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't label your jar. More flavor. the onion I ordered I cut maybe a quarter of a half of that big onion however much you like you can use green onion red onion whatever you have a tablespoon of taco seasoning. I think I'll add a little more. That's about a pound of meat. So two tablespoons. And that'll go into the juice. green chilies put 
Oops. We're just going to let this warm up. Get those taco flavors melded in there. Okay, in typical fashion, I got it hot. I didn't want it to get that hot. So we are ready to wrap and roll. So I'm going to have to do the old swisher rooney. I have no idea what you can see other than me. figure it out here. So I've got canned stuff right there. I know what I'll do. We're dancing, guys. Just having a dance. I wanted to let you know that I will be posting the hot and sour soup. If any of you that wanted to see that are watching this, I'll be doing that. I wanted to make sure that I had things that everybody could use to make the soup. like regular types of mushrooms and things like that. Okay. So, just get a baking dish. Oh, I need my sauce. So, I'll let that warm up while I roll them. Got my shredded cheese. So here we go. Just gonna take a tortilla. Pull you back so you can see. Is that better? Just put some meat. It smells yummy. Some cheese. Roll it up. Put it in the pan. I told my husband it was smoked pork. He says, they'll be delicious. I honestly think that's what he was wanting anyways. He loves that smoked meat. I guess one day with this cold weather we could do pulled pork with some coleslaw. 
pretend it's summer. Pretend it's a beautiful day. Chaos isn't happening. I forgot the cheese. We really cook up in here. No frou frou going on here, hiding the mistakes. You will see it all. And sometimes I'm a hot mess. It does smell really good, I have to say. And any of that meat, if you have any left when you're doing yours, and you can use the store-bought uh, canned pork, you can do ground pork, season it the same way. You can do a leftover pork roast. Just put some chicken broth in a pan, cover it, and let it simmer until it, you know, cut it up into cubes. Let it simmer in some chicken broth until it breaks apart. So you can use leftover pork roast. But any of this filling you have left, even if it's just a smidge, save it in a baggie in the freezer and you can use it for like a quick quesadilla. You know, there's a lot of days that I'm home during the day by myself. So I save little amounts like that in the freezer and then at lunchtime or whenever I'm hungry, I can uh, whip something up or like the leftover bulgogi beef. I made a bowl of ramen noodles and just added the all that leftover bean sprouts green onion the beef and I just added all that to a bowl of ramen noodles so here's our pan of enchiladas we got six eight of them this is our sauce, and this is just your store-bought enchilada sauce. Pour that over the top, and then top it with cheese, and I'm going to pop it in the oven. You put it in at 350 until it's hot and bubbly. My husband usually likes the cheese browned on top. So even that, you could use that leftover right there. Put it in a bowl of ramen. Boy. So there's all our cheese. There, got the cheese all spread out. Gonna pop it in the oven at 350 till it's all bubbly, and then we'll have some refried beans with it and call it dinner. So I'll see you when this is coming out and we'll taste it, see what we got with the smoked pork. Okay, everybody, it's ready. So I'm ready to eat and I'm also freezing. I have my Mexican pickles which are really spicy so if you make these and you don't like spicy don't put too many jalapenos in there. The carrots are hot.
Just stick that under the cheese, he'll never know. on top of those if you want. A few of those pickles. I'm kind of stingy with the onion. That's my favorite part. Sorry. Machines are going... So there you have it guys. Now you could do this same thing with canned chicken, leftover rotisserie chicken, leftover baked chicken, your canned beef, leftover roast, just chop it up smaller. Any canned meat you have you can do this recipe. So if you have any questions post them down below. Let me know what you like making with your store-bought or home canned foods and I will see you all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, stay safe, stay healthy and I'll see you next time. Bye!